Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Mark. I'm here in Edmonton, Alberta. My company is Forest Track Woodwork. I'm originally from Montreal. I was born and raised. Lived there for about 22 years and eventually made my way to Ottawa. I lived there for about two and a half years and after that I made my way out west to Alberta. Um, I kind of got my into woodworking by my family. We always were doing projects and my dad always had kind of renovations going on or little projects on the weekend and it was a good time. Uh, also my family, my dad's family had a Rona hardware store in Lachine, Montreal and when I was a kid I always kind of hung around there and kind of learned a lot that way. Um, I got into woodworking as a business after I was in Ottawa. I was building a cabin. It was one of my dreams to always buy a piece of land. And my background was still engineering technology. I, and I was working for a rebar company. And I need to make some extra cash. So I started building picnic tables out of the back of my truck. And yeah, one thing led to another. And I started getting more orders and more orders. And when I got out here, I kept on doing it. And then it just grew and grew. And I decided to take the leap and do it full time. And that's about it. And well, tonight I'm watching my son. He's on a little TV, so he'll be with us working. And I'll give you a quick tour of the shop. This is our main area where we're building and cutting and preparing all the pieces for assembling. And here's Jasper, our little shop dog. Say hey, Jasper. He's also uh, employee of the month. My sister Luke is uh, a little jealous this month. I guess it'll give him a little motivation to step it up next time. Um, this is one of our license plate maps of Canada. This is our sixth one we've made. It's a pretty unique piece and gives a lot of character and they're quite fun to do. We usually keep one in the shop just for display. And it's always nice to look at when we're working. Um, it's pretty full today. We're building a lot. This is a cedar picnic table under there. There's four benches, and this is a six foot cedar that we're just working on. It's just being clear coated. Uh, trusty dust collector. Another one up here, and third one right there. And this is our wall here. And uh, yeah, all right, well, I'm gonna build a little birdhouse really quickly here for you guys, so just bear with me. All right, so one of our birdhouses that we do is a slice and spade birdhouse. And they're pretty easy to make. Yeah, it's a good little project. Uh, remember, safety first. So, a great way to use old license plates is you can make a license plate map or a couple of birdhouses. These ones are pretty easy to bend over. Actually, work out really great. So, I already pre cut these pieces and sanded them for easy assembly. Always remember to put some glue on. Oops. Yeah, I'm just a little nervous in my first video here. So, remember, always watch where your hands are when you're doing this. Probably put nails in the gun, which always uh, will help out there. All right, let's give this another try here. So once you get one side on, it makes it a little easy to hold it together.
then we have the frame gun. There's a little set for the bird to sit on. Some glue in there. And I'm just kind of shove it in. Let's grab a hammer. Quickly wipe off any excess glue. Okay, there's the basic frame. And then the plate will go around there. Let's grab some screws. Birdhouse from Ontario. Oh, thanks for watching, guys.